In Italy, there's concern that a shortage of seasonal workers may adversely affect this year's harvest. So authorities are looking to thousands of undocumented migrants currently living in the country. And as Giorgio Orlandi explains from Rome, many may be legalised. They are called the Invisibles. Italy's undocumented migrants have grown in number, reaching over 600,000. Since the COVID outbreak, it has become an emergency within an emergency. With national lockdowns being imposed across Europe, disruption to the seasonal flow of workers has raised the question of who will harvest the fruits and vegetables. An estimated shortfall of 250,000 workers means there's a risk that products won't even end up in supermarkets. For years, irregular migrants have been doing undeclared and underpaid farming, in most cases being exploited by mafia-style organizations with no legal protection. The divisive debate on the need to legalize migrants is back in the Italian parliament. Italy's agriculture minister, Teresa Bellanova, is leading the battle to bring undocumented migrants inside the legal system. Bellanova and Interior Minister Larmorgese have discussed the measure to grant renewable seasonal stay permits. We're consulting with other ministers on how to cope with the current emergency, mainly for the harvesting in the fields. We're running the risk of not having Italian products, or they'll be ruined if they're not harvested in time. The proposal would also include domestic workers and caregivers and will be part of a series of measures that will be approved in the next few days to sustain Italy's economy. Pope Francis has also called for exploited migrants to be legalized, saying that the dignity of the individual should always be respected. The COVID crisis has worsened these migrants' already precarious living conditions. In Castel Volturno near Naples, the invisibles have settled here over the years. They amount to around 20,000 in a city with a population of 27,000. Given the government's order to stay at home and with no documents in hand, they are barely surviving. They are crammed in run-down apartments and under lockdown, they have been through the worst. They cook what they have on bed springs outside. We face a lot of problems. You know, we don't have electricity, we don't have water, we don't have documents. Uh, how to get food is a problem. Volunteers deliver groceries to their apartments daily, but the resources are limited and don't meet the demand.